to my channel. So today is going to be a little different. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me Q&A. I asked you guys on Twitter to leave me some questions that you wanted to know or be answered. Um, and you did. And today I'm going to answer them for you. So if you want to know a little bit more about me, then let's get started. Okay guys, so I do film my videos with my phone, so I had to write your questions down on a separate piece of paper and I have them right here on the side of me along with everything else I want to show you and um, during the questions. So the first question is, and I had already done this step before I even like began filming, um, what is your go-to primer? So my go-to primer right now is the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Primer right here. And I am trying out the Professional by Benefit and I am trying out the Hangover 2-in-1 by Too Faced. And you will see those in a different video that I want to make for you guys. And there's a catch to that also. So if you want to know what that is, check out that video when I upload it. So the next vi the next video, the next question is, what's your favorite clothing brand? So my favorite clothing brand I really don't have just because I shop at Ross and I like affordable pricing clothes. I mean, I can get cute clothes for like good prices. So I just don't mess with that wherever I find something cute and that I like and that it fits me that's what I get I don't care about if it's high-end clothes or anything like that I just like it and right now I'm I'm applying my foundation with my foundation brush from my brush at Anise um, and I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation in the shade 7.0 And then the third question is, wow, I can't apply foundation and talk to you guys. That is a bummer. The next question is, if you could have, if you could choose one eyeshadow palette for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Honestly, um, when I started my videos, sorry, I have an itch. When I started my videos, the only palette I've had, I have, and still have till this day because I have a couple, but they're not really like a brand. It's just like a third-party brand. Um, but it's the Jaclyn Hill palette. I usually use them for all the looks I've created so far. It's kind of right now my go-to like um palette so I really like it because I even though it has the same colors in there I'm pretty sure I can create more and I haven't gotten the ideas yet but I I will get there the fourth question is what is your go-to skin product my go-to skin product right now so I'm Hispanic I'm Mexican so there's this bar of soap called asepsia and that that soap basically soaks into your skin overnight and yes it is a like fallback because it brings out all of your pimples first like it breaks out and then when all those pimples disappear your face is like clear and I use it day and night so in the morning and afternoon with my um facial scrubber that I got on my birch in my birch box which I love because it's awesome I mean, it doesn't get stained by makeup either, so that's really cool. And yeah, that's my go-to skin product right now. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my new Tarte Concealer. I've been waiting to buy this for the longest. I'm probably one of the last people to have it right now to get their hands on it. I actually got it in a different shade that I was and I had to go back and exchange it. So let's see if this one is the one for me. So I'm just going to apply it and then I'm going to use a beauty blender. Well, it's not actually the actual beauty blender. It's just a little blending sponge that I have. And the fifth question is, what is your favorite cuisine? I'm guessing cuisine means food, and my favorite food is Chinese food, especially from Panda Express, because I used to work there, and I got so used to the food. I just love it. I, I just love it. Bloom. 
So I'm just going to apply this right here, you guys. On my chin. Yeah, that's it. The next question is, what is your fave drugstore brand? My favorite drugstore brand is NYX. I don't have much of their cosmetics right now, but I really like their stuff. Um, right now, um, I'm waiting for the Laura Lee Cat Pajamas palette. But I went on, I went to Ulta and I, I saw their bold color palette from NYX. And now I'm debating. And... But I saw my heart set for Laura Lee's palette, so I'm just going to do it because I've been waiting for that for such a long time. And it's going to be mine. It's going to be mine. And the next question is... If I can finish this, you guys. So the next question is, what is your favorite part of your makeup routine? My favorite part of a makeup routine is the eyeshadows i don't have much right now but with what i have either it's morning in the afternoon during the day or 11 p.m at night if i think that something's popping into my head and you know i want to see if it's gonna look good or if i can do it i literally get up at whatever time it is I go into my filming area, which is my closet slash DIY vanity, whatever, if you guys seen that video, and I create it, and I create it, and I create it, and I create it, and I keep going, and I re erase, and I keep doing it till I get it right. If it's like some sort of like eyeliner technique, or if I've seen something in a video that I really want to try out before I film it for you guys, I literally sit in my vanity for hours. And just recreate it till I get it right. It's just what I love to do. And that's my favorite part of the whole makeup routine kind of thing. So now I'm going to cook, prep, souffle, bake my face. And the question that is next is my favorite color. My favorite color is purple. I love the color purple. Ever since I was little, I've loved the color purple. There's this time when, when I was in high school, I painted my room purple. It was what, what I loved, and I just liked it. I just wanted it purple. Like, I got so obsessed with that room. Everything was purple. My curtains were purple. I did, like, a whole scheme with it. So it was, like, black, purple, and white, and zebra. So I loved that. I loved it. I really did. So you guys, I prepared my face for the baking, for the baking. Um, so I don't have a setting powder. I use baby powder. It works kind of the same. I really like the results. So I mean, if it works for me, I mean, it might not work for you guys, but check out that hack video and you'll see that I use this instead of setting powder because I don't own it and I will own it, I promise you guys. I will get one. I'm trying to get the Morphe one because I'm really excited to try that out. So yes. And I am taking a fan brush and I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. It's this one right here, and it's the colors from 7508 Caramel Toffee, and it's cruelty free. So I'm just going to take some right here.
the next question is what is your favorite dream foundation dream foundation vacation i can't talk today you guys i can't I always get I nervous in videos i don't know why so my dream vacation when i was a child i never ever 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 went to disneyland or you know six flags or anything like that so i want to go to universal studios i really want to go there because it's not it's it's a adult kid place and i really want to go to the harry potter place that castle looks awesome so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my eyebrows and I am using this new little pal that I have right here is from the same um, uh, brush set and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Um, little duo. I'm going to be using... The give me the give me brow by benefit, and I'm also going to be using my goof proof brow pencil also by benefit. So this is a little um, sample that I got from Ulta a while ago. It's just a mini gimme proof, and since I don't really use them much because I don't have. A lot of eyebrows I really like the size of it look at the little blush look at the little blush that is so cute so what I'm gonna do is just I'm going to um, fill in my brows and then I'm gonna um, draw them I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna put them on so yeah This mirror is by Mary Kay, just to let you guys know. It's just this little thing. Look at that. Look. That's so cool. Dimensions. So now that I filled in, like, you know, filled, like, yeah, filled them in, basically. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Um, little duo. It, it This is the... Brow Duo Shade Medium. And so far, I love it. And I'm going to go in with this dark color. As you can see, it's almost gone. This is a cream and this is a powder. The next question is your favorite subject. History. If you're talking about school history, if you're talking about like social, it's makeup. Yeah. So what I did right here is I, um, if you've seen my last video, um, when I do my eyebrows, they're not as good as I would want them to be. Look at that. So what I do is I measure out the side of my nose and that's where it's supposed to end on the inside, the tip of my nose for my arch and the end of my nose for the end of my eyebrow. The next question is, what is your favorite makeup product? So, I used to have a bunch of more makeup, but right now, I tried, I actually tried the Tarte Shape Tape a while ago, but I never actually owned it. So, my favorite product, even though I never had it in my hands, would be the Shape Tape. Yeah, that that's it. 
and dupes. Yes, I do have dupes. I always create dupes. Uh, you know, Anastasia, this would be your dupe right here. Um, your Anastasia contour kits or any, like, K Kim kits, here's your dupe right here. Um, Jaclyn Hill palette, uh, Anastasia palettes, Laura Lee palettes, anything with purples or browns or pinks, this is your palette right here. I got this at Ross. It was $10. And, um, House of Lashes, uh, Sephora Lashes, anything exp expensive lashes, I got these right here. These are lashes from eBay. I got them from $1.99, and they, sh they were shipped out to me. Um, those have been my go-to lashes for a while now, since I can't afford all those high-end lashes that you guys like to buy. But I try to, every once in a while, save up my money to buy something like that. And right now, in Jet. December, January, I'm going to start, start a new job. So hopefully with that, I will get on my feet and bring you more products that you want to see here. But for now, that is all the dupes I have. I have a bunch of mascara that you guys can try. Um, if you've seen the Tati video of her 100 mascaras, I have this one. Again, she is totally right. It's I've only had it for a week and it's already dried out. It's already dried out. Um it is I've had one before this and I thought, you know what, maybe it's dried out. Let me buy a new one. But no, it's 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 the mascara. It's the mascara and then this is my go-to mascara right now. Right here the Katy Perry is the one that I love right now. It's in the shade very, very black. Trust Noir. Yeah. Um, eyeliner. We have e.l.f. and stuff like that. Um, let's see. Let's see. You have the Magic Volume Mascara. Yeah, those are dupes. Dupes also. Milani is a very affordable um, a drugstore brand. NYX are, is also. Um, I own some Lancome and Mary Kay. I also have some e.l.f. bronzers and stuff like that, which is awesome. My brushes are inexpensive brushes. This set back here is from Beauty Creations. It cost me 15 bucks. My Anise one was a little expensive. It was $140 or above, I think. But it's, I mean, it's still less than Morphe brushes. They're like $300 or $500, I'm guessing. So yeah, <laughs> those are my dupes. So now that we have our eyebrows on our faces, we are going to... I'm going to grab this um, little, um, what is that? There we go. I'm going to grab this uh, loose powder brush right here, and I'm just going to pat all of the setting powder in, which is like baby powder. And then I'm just going to blend these lines so we don't have harsh lines there. The next question is product that you could live without. I can live without mascara. I don't really wear mascara that often because I glue on fakies. But my eyelashes are pretty curled up. So when I put fake ones on, they like blend together. I only have to curl them a little bit. What I couldn't live without. I can't live without foundation. I can just wear foundation all day and... I don't have to put on like my eyebrows or anything like that but foundation is a must-have because I am really I'm a really conscious girl when it comes to like having pimples or like wrinkles and stuff like that so yeah foundation is a total must-have 
The next question is high or low end makeup. Personally, I would totally get high end makeup if I could afford it. But since I can't, I do recommend low end makeup. I mean, there's no difference unless you're one of those people that are just like, I'm an expensive person and I have to go buy a $200 foundation just to be happy, then go ahead. But I mean, if you can't afford it, reality is reality and you have to settle with your low end makeup, which is just as good. Either way, even though some of the eyeshadows are really crappy, but I mean, what can you do? If you can't afford it, you can't afford it. So I mean, personally, I would love to have high end makeup and I do have some here and there, but not all of my collections. I don't get PR packages. I don't get anything like that. So, what I have is what I stick for right now. So, the next question is, what made you get into makeup? What made me get into makeup is, since I was small, my mom was the one that taught me how to do my makeup. She taught me everything I know. And besides that, I've always watched um, my godmother's uh, daughter's because they all studied cut. <laughs> they all studied cosmetology. There you go, cosmetology. <laughs> they all studied cosmetology, and I just saw them that and I used to be their little like lab rat because they would do facials on me. They would do makeup looks. For, for one of my, she's actually my godmother. For her wedding, I was one of her little um, bridesmaids. And they did my makeup, my hair. It was so cute. I, I was like, like 10 or like 11 or 12. Yeah, so I, I liked it since then. And ever, every time I would, like when I wasn't married or I had my two-year-old, Whenever I would get my paycheck, I would set some money aside for my bills and whatever to help my mom. Or I would or I would just spend it on makeup. I used to have drawers and drawers and drawers of makeup. But when I moved out here to Utah and I got married and I had my child, I had to give all of that. Well, I didn't give it up. I had just had to get rid of it because it was too much to have here. And we don't have a big place. We only rent two rooms and... It's not big, so I can't have, like, a big, huge, like, filming room or anything like that, which I wish I would have. But, yeah, that's what made me go into makeup. And then, why do you love makeup? I love makeup because, for example, putting on foundation is, like, when you don't have it, you're just, like, plain. And when you put on your foundation, you're an empty canvas. Putting on eyeshadows is really satisfying for me because when I look at the final results, it's just like, wow, you created that? That that was you? So I really love that. I really love, like I said before, I would, I, I get up and, like, sit in here for hours and hours and hours trying to get, you know, like, cut crease perfect, double cut crease perfect, which I have have copied some looks just to see if I can do them. And with different colors, obviously, and I like the way they turn out, and I also love it because, I mean, just the, satis again, the satisfying feeling of just going into a makeup store doing your makeup for a normal day, doing your makeup for a party or a wedding, or helping another friend out and doing their makeup, their hair, because I love doing my hair also. Um, just sitting in here and looking on the internet for new products that I could probably afford and show to you guys here, or just sitting in here and creating looks with a palette that you've had for months and months and months and you haven't gotten a new one, it's the same feeling for me. It's just that satisfying feeling of me having makeup and me creating different looks. Even though I created with the same stuff, it's still 
so important to me. It's just super important. It's like a getaway from everything you that you have. Like right now, I'm filming. Why? Because my son is taking a nap. That's why I'm filming right now. It's just a getaway. It's just a relaxing time where you can just be you and look at yourself in the mirror and be like oh my gosh I love that color or you know what look I created this and this was my own thing like this is I created this I didn't copy it from another youtuber it's yours you know so having makeup having all this what I have now which I didn't have as much before when I started these videos but thank god for my husband he's given me all this stuff and I'm, I'm I appreciate him because he sees that I love this um industry and he sees that I want to go big with this so he helps me as much as possible so yeah that's why I love makeup because it just satisfies me it satisfies me so much and then the last question which would you rather choose for the rest of your life eyeliner or mascara so, I would choose um, eyeliner. I don't really use mascara. Like I said before, I really don't. I can go out without mascara, really, obviously. So, I'm going to continue with my look here. So, I'm using this palette that I showed you as a dupe and it's from Ross. It cost me $10. It's a little bit messy, but I mean, it's what I have. So you guys, you know. So I'm going to go in with a bone color first. And I'm just going to apply it all over my lid. And I keep looking at the screen instead of you guys. So I'll keep on working on with that. And I've noticed I do it in all my videos. So if you notice me doing it, leave a comment down below. So I'm going to go with this color right here and I'm going to apply it all over my lid. And I, I think I'm looking at the, at the screen because I don't have my glasses on. My uh, contacts ripped for some reason. I've had them for a long time, I guess, and they just didn't want to work anymore. So I'm guessing that's why. this look for you guys really really fast so that was all for the questions um if you guys have more questions please leave them down in the comment box or on my twitter or instagram that i you know have check out my instagram page anything you like leave them anywhere i don't care it's i love to interact with you guys so let me just finish this look up and i will be right back Well, you guys, thank you for watching. I truly enjoyed getting ready with you today. I loved your questions, and I hope you loved my answers. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also, turn on that little bell down below so you won't miss any of my videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys!